father who? Father who? Huh? And, and I, I who? Who, who, who? Father who? <laughs> oh, the tears about to come. I'm making myself cry. I'm so funny. Hey pretty people, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can join all the fun. So, this Sunday is Father's Day. <laughs> and for people like me who have a single mother and who have never ever celebrated Father's Day, this video is for you. For those of us with a single mom with no dad in our lives, it can be a weird day because we don't really have anything to do. Father's Day can kind of be like a Mother's Day part two where you celebrate your mom some more because she really does take on the role of both parents being a single mom. So today, I put together a little gift guide of different gifts that you could get your mom if you wanna celebrate her again on Father's Day. So without further ado, let's just get right into it and let's start this gift guide. So the first thing you should get your single mom on Father's Day is a vanity because that poor woman has been carrying the weight of both a mother and a father on her back for all these years and she just deserves a minute to sit relax do her makeup and chill for a second after all those long hard years of raising you it's time you give her something to where she can just sit chill and take care of herself so vanity will be perfect for her. I know we all have different styles, so I'll go ahead and link a few different ones down below because there's so many to choose from and I really can't just pick one because they're all so cute. Next, let's talk about a little tropical vacation for your mama. So once your child support check hits and is in your bank account, you better run to the bank, take it out, and go get your mom a vacation. She deserves it. You could go with her. You could celebrate each other and how much you love your mom. You know, for the most part, child support isn't that much, so maybe go on Groupon or something and get a little tropical vacation off there. But don't go to the Dominican Republic, okay? That's all I gotta say. Next, something you should get her is a gym membership so that she can start feeling good about herself, working on herself, so that she can go find a new man. You can go get a new daddy. You know, maybe she'll find a new man that will actually be a father where your father was absent, okay? <laughs> Okay, obviously you can tell that those all were jokes. I'm totally kidding. I mean, you could go get all those things, but you know, the rest was a joke. Wink, wink. For real, some things you could get her include my real list that I got right here. So for real, what you could actually get your mom is a Birchbox subscription, which is awesome. My mom actually got it as a gift from somebody and she loves it so much. She loved all the products that she got and she thought it was so cool that you could get products delivered to your door and you get to try all different kinds of things that you normally wouldn't try. I'm trying to get my mom into some self-care routine and she's loving trying all these products. So if your mom loves self-care, loves trying different products, a birch box will be perfect for her. Next, you could surprise her with some concert tickets to see her favorite band or favorite singer, or whatever it may be. My mom loves going to concerts. She loves the atmosphere. She loves being around music. It's just so much fun. You guys could go together and it could be a blast. And lastly, something for real that you could get your mom is a spa day. Treat your mom to a spa day. I know my mom, after raising me all these long, hard years, deserves it. She deserves a break. She deserves a massage and she deserves some loving. I'm sure you feel the same about your mom. I love my mom so much. She deserves the world. You can't really get her the world, but I can get her a gift card to the spa. So with that being said, do anything you can. Your mom will definitely appreciate any gesture, whether it's big or small. And just showing your appreciation and love for your mom on Mother's Day part two will just make you feel good and it'll make her feel very appreciated. So this Sunday, hook your mama up the way she's hooked you up your whole life and make her feel spoiled. So yeah, that's my little gift guide. Very quick, simple, to the point. Do what you can, do what you want, and do what your mom will love. I know that there's a lot of you in the same boat as me with a single mama working her booty off to support you, get you through college, and to give you the best life ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will also celebrate your mom on this very odd day. Yeah, that's all I can say, it's a very odd day. <laughs> Enough said. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a big ol' thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day part two, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!